Hey, what's up guys, this is Mario, back again with our YouTube video. In today's video, I'm gonna talk about Amazon, baby. Amazon stock. Who doesn't love Amazon? I order stuff from Amazon almost every single week. I know it's a little crazy, but it just they have so much amazing stuff that I just can't help myself sometimes. But anyways, I'm gonna talk about how I'm gonna get some of the money that I spent on Amazon by investing in Amazon stock. So in this video, I'm gonna go over the fundamental analysis, especially the fourth quarter 2020 earnings report, where they actually announced their first $100 billion quarter in terms of revenue, which is pretty amazing, it's, it's huge. Uh, but what's most important to me is the technical analysis, because I'm gonna, I believe in terms of how the chart is setting up, I believe Amazon's about to make a huge move in terms of the stock, uh, and I'm going to talk about those details, guys. I did buy Amazon stock today. I did invest in the company. Uh, and I'm going to go over the levels and what targets I'm looking at. Uh, the other thing that I'm looking at that's very, very important is what uh, tier one al bank analysts think, uh, especially JP Morgan Chase, as well as Goldman Sachs. So I'm going to go over their targets, guys. I think that's very, very important and kind of exciting, guys, because right now, uh, the market is starting to trend. The NASDAQ, the S&P 500, they're, they're pretty much trending now. Uh, and I think it's going to move Amazon as well. Everything's going to move. So I'm pretty excited about this uh, stock. And I'm also going to go over, hey, if you, it is pretty expensive. We're talking about over $3,000 per share, but I'm going to talk about fractional shares as well and what applications you could use to buy Amazon stock. And actually, I'm going to talk about options, guys. I haven't really mentioned about options. I do invest in options as well. So I'm going to go over a little bit more about stock options as well uh, and how you can take advantage of that and, uh, and able to buy Amazon at a better price. So, uh, hey, guys, uh, don't forget to smash that like button. I, I do appreciate those likes. They do help support this YouTube channel. Also, subscribe to this YouTube channel down below. Again, it does help support. I do post new videos every single week about stocks. They will be uh, looking to make moves in the stock market. So, hey, let me share my screen and let's get started, okay? So what I'm going to do really quick, guys, I am going to share my screen. Uh, I am going to go over first. Uh, I kind of want to go over a little bit more of the, uh, well, actually, let's go over the, the fundamental stuff first. But this is a chart. This is the, uh, the chart of my thicker swim. Uh, but I want, to, I want to go over the fundamentals first to kind of explain why the chart is going to match with the fundamentals to make a next move. So let me go over really quickly. Uh, with the fundamental stuff and why that's important. Uh, now, Amazon reports first $100 billion quarter following holiday and pandemic search, uh, shopping surge. Now, this is for the 2020 uh, year. Uh, and, it, and again, this uh, earnings report was reported on February 2nd of this year. So it was last month. Uh, now, other big things that I want to mention, uh, Amazon on uh, Tuesday uh, did announce that um, CEO Andy Jassy will replace uh, Jeff Amazon as CEO of Amazon in third quarter. So uh, actually, Andy Jassy is uh, currently uh, the Amazon Web Services CEO, and he will replace Jeff Bezos. So Jeff Bezos is stepping down as uh, Amazon CEO uh, in the third quarter this year uh, to pursue other ventures. Uh, but the company is in good hands. Now, the announcement came in Amazon earnings report the fourth quarter of 2020, in which it delivered the largest quarter by revenue of all time, generating $125.56 billion in sales. That is huge. Uh, that is insane, by the way, guys. Um, you know, some of that money is, is, is mine, actually. <laughs> I do spend a lot of money in, uh, on, on Amazon. Uh, but in terms of that, uh, Amazon announced uh, in its uh, earnings report for fourth quarter 2020 that uh, Amazon Web Services CEO Andy Hasse will replace Jeff Bezos uh, in third quarter this year. And Bezos, Jeff Bezos will become executive chairman. Uh, now, uh, kind of go over some other stuff. Uh, we already kind of went over that. Um, let's go over the, the results in terms of why it's important. Now, in terms of earnings, earnings per share, uh, they actually hit a 14.09 earnings per share versus $7.23 per share expected. So pretty much like double it, you know, like double, they doubled pretty much the expected earnings per share, which is huge. Now revenue, 125.56 billion versus 119.7 billion forecast by Refinitiv. So they beat on revenue as well. 
So just going to go over this really, really, really quick um, and, um, and, and, and kind of go over some other uh, analyst reports and I'm going to go over the technical stuff and I'm going to talk about other things as well. So Ambassador announced his decision to step down in the earnings release in a memo to employees noting that he will focus on new products and early initiatives in his new role, including the day one fund, uh, Bessel's Earth Fund, the Washington Post, and his private space company, Blue Origin. So it looks like he has other ventures that he's working on, um, and, but he is leaving um, uh, Amazon with good hands. And he's still going to be the, the, uh, the executive chairman. So that's very, very important. So uh, what I want to go over next is uh, what analysts thought about, you know, what uh, analysts like uh, JP Morgan Chase and also uh, more, uh, Goldman Sachs, what they thought about Amazon earnings report. So I'm going to go to uh, Bindis and kind of look at the analyst, you know, uh, report. So looking at, um, go, let's go first with Goldman. Goldman on February 3rd, the day after they reported earnings, they reiterated it an analyst uh, call to buy by the stock with a price target of 4,200 and 4,500. So going back to the shark guys, <laughs> you know, pretty much right now we're sitting at around 3,300. Uh, so uh, let me uh, put it one year, 3,300. And um, so a 4,500 uh, we're looking at right here. Uh, so 4,200 to 4,500. So if I were to do some quick math, uh, you know, let me just do some quick math really quick. You know, 4,500 minus 3,300. We're looking at 1,200 in terms of price difference. So let me see what the percentage is in, in, in the stock move. We're talking about a 37, 38% move in the company stock, uh, potentially according to Goldman Sachs. Uh, now let's, and again, Goldman Sachs is a tier one bank analyst and that is very, very important. Now let's look at the, another uh, important bank analyst that I really like, and that's JP Morgan Chase, another tier one bank. Uh, now they're overweight. They're saying that hey, we should buy, definitely buy some, but buy more than your average portfolio weight. So if you on average buy like 5% uh, percent of your portfolio of one stock, He's saying overweight that maybe buy 7%, maybe 10% of your portfolio should be JP Morgan Chase. I mean, should be uh, Amazon stock. And that was again reported on February 3rd. And they have a price target of 4155 to 4400. So very, very similar to uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, you know, which is pretty much around there. So around over 35, 35% uh, increase. So that is huge, guys. That, that is very, very huge. Um, I just want to mention really quickly, guys, that when it comes to analysts, um, people pay attention to tier one bank analysts and what they have to say. Uh, tier one bank analysts are like JP Morgan Chase and Goldman Sachs, uh, UBS, things like that. Uh, now, they all pretty much have very similar price targets. Uh, so I'm very, very confident about, you know, how this stock is going to move. Now, what I'm going to go over now, I'm going to put another layer of this and I'm going to talk about technical analysis, guys. So let me share my chart again, uh, my screen, so you guys could kind of take a look at the technical analysis stuff. So this is what I like, guys. So I'm going to go over the five-month uh, five um, chart, a five-month, five-year chart. So every single candlestick here represents one month. The last time that um, Amazon made a huge move was back in April of 2020. And if I were to put some levels, here it is. Now it did create a wedge. So it had this long period of consolidation from September, 2018, all the way to pretty much, yeah, um, so to April, 2020. So we're talking about a year consolidation. It just wasn't moving, wasn't really doing much. And we had to start the pandemic and boom, huge. A lot of people started buying uh, online and it just, just went nuts. Literally from 2000, to, to 3,500, that's over 70% move in the stock. That is huge. But it came after a long period of consolidation. And this is very, very important. This long period of consolidation is what I'm talking about. Currently, you know, Amazon has had a pretty decent uh, period of consolidation from September 2020 uh, until now, April 2021. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, around eight months is consolidation. So I really think 
the, this consolidation is going to break pretty soon. Uh, it might be this month and it's April. Now, remember last time it broke, it was actually last year in April. So now we're in 2021 April. Uh, so if things keep moving, I think uh, it could be this month. Uh, if not, it could be the next two to three months. Uh, but the consolidation is looking pretty solid. 3,000 is definitely a very important support level. It looks like a lot of investors are buying in. If you look at the uh, weekly chart, you know, you can see that every time it went below 3,000, it was definitely bought right up. 3,000, it got bought up. And now we're above uh, around $3,300 uh, per share. So uh, the other thing that I like is how it's setting up on the moving averages. Uh, one of the most important moving averages is the 200-day moving average um, in terms of a daily uh, chart. And right now, it pretty much tested that 200-day moving average. So you see this red line. Every time this 200-day uh, moving average, the red line, starts to kind of trend up, uh, around the price or above the price, it starts to move. Uh, usually the red moving average is a, is a really good place for long-term investors to buy a stock because uh, it kind of shows that, hey, it's retraced, the price has retraced to the 200 moving average, the average of the, the average price of the last 200 days. Uh, so that's a really good area for a lot of long-term investors to dip buy a stock. So if you guys can see, we pretty much got that. Uh, we definitely got that during this period of time, which this period of time was during the uh, sell-off in the NASDAQ, the sell-off and attack after the 10-year bond yields had a really quick move. So it kind of spooked a lot of investors in tech and we had a sell-off in the, in the tech. So now that we, that kind of, that 3,000 held, now we're trending. We're also like, uh, in terms of other technical analysis, the NASDAQ is trending. The NASDAQ finally was able to kind of shake off the bond yields and now we're trending and we're about to break to new highs. It may happen tomorrow or next week, uh, you know, which is very important. And the NASDAQ, if you look at the uh, market watch in terms of, you know, NASDAQ, here's the NASDAQ 100. If you look at consumer discretionary sector, Amazon is a huge stake in the consumer discretionary sector. Huge stake. Uh, so if Amazon moves, the market moves. The market moves, Amazon's going to move. Uh, and not only the NASDAQ, the S&P 500 as well. Look at the S&P 500. It's trending in a really nice way. It's already trading all-time highs, 408. That's insane uh, um, in terms of the uh, SPY. Um, that's pretty insane, guys. So S&P 500 is trending. The NASDAQ is trending. Uh, and guess what? Amazon is trending as well. And I think it's setting up for a huge move. So that's pretty much what I want to talk about in terms of technical analysis. Now, uh, a lot of you guys were going to be asking, hey, you know, Amazon stock is like $3,300 per share. I mean, I can't afford that. That's a lot of money, man. I only got a couple hundred bucks that I want to invest in Amazon stock. Where am I going to buy? I don't have the money to buy this, this stock. It's too expensive for me. Well, guys, there are some brokers like the Cash App, Buy Square where you could buy fractional shares of Amazon. You could buy as little as $1 of Amazon using fractional shares. Now I do have a link down below in my YouTube description where you could get, uh, download the, uh, click on the link and if you use my code, you will get uh, $5 of cash if you send $5 of cash using the cash app. So it's all down below. You know, you can download on your phone and you can buy it using your phone. Now the other option, that I've actually also used myself, you could buy, invest using options, stock options. Now, stock options are a little bit tricky, you know, and I understand a lot of people don't, don't really use that or because they don't really fully understand it, but I'm going to go over a quick overview of the stock options in Amazon, uh, the ones that I uh, ended up purchasing, and I'm going to go over my strategy really, really quickly, really good, really quick overview uh, I definitely don't want to confuse you guys because it can be a little bit confusing. So I'm going to make it, try to make it as simple as possible. And I'm going to show you the, the chart on Thick or Swim. Uh, so you guys uh, could kind of take a look at that. Okay. Now let me share my screen again and show you guys that again. Okay. So going back to it. So these are the levels that I'm looking at. Now I did buy this option a, a while back. Now let me, uh, okay. So this is pretty much what I'm looking at. So I ended up buying the, the, uh, the expiration, uh, May, May uh, 21st expiration uh, options. I did buy what's called the vertical call spread. 
And the reason why I bought vertical call spread because it allows me to um, to kind of uh, you know cut my 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 purchase. My it allows me to save money on, on my buying power. So I did buy the thirty four hundred uh, 3,400, um, call option. And I sold the, the, uh, the 3,410 call option. Uh, and some of you guys might be, what, what is that all about? So it's, it is a vertical spread. What a vertical spread does, it takes advantage of the, uh, options, uh, implied volatility. Um, and it takes advantage of the spread where you, um, buy a, a call option and then you sell another one and the money that you, you got from selling the one that at, at a higher strike price covers and pays per part of the one that you bought at a lower strike price. So uh, not only does it reduce your, 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 your cost of buying that option, but it actually lowers your, it actually uh, allows you to buy uh, a larger percentage of Amazon stock using a small percentage of portfolio, a uh, small position. So I was able to buy a hundred shares over 100 shares of Amazon stock uh, with for about actually it's right here. So let me see, it's right here. Um, yep, here. So I did buy one call option, uh, and let me see where where it is where I bought it at. Uh, okay. So I bought one call option and I sold this call option. So then the difference is pretty much what it cost me. See, so if you look at the difference, okay, so let me do some math really quick. So, okay. So 2000, all right. It's probably not the best, but let me see. Actually, let me go to the risk profile and I think that may be better. There it is. And let me click on Amazon. There you go. There you go, guys. So it's gonna be easier to explain it here uh, just because um, you know options could be confusing <laughs> using these, uh, the, using the, the risk profile and the chart, it just makes everything so much simpler. So like I said, I bought one uh, option, uh, $3,400 call option, expiration May 21st, and I sold the uh, strike price 3410 call option at the same time, lowering my cost. So if you think about it, um, I bought this one for 61.57 and I sold this one for 58. 0.77 uh, and I bought one call option. So you multiply that by hundred. So I pretty much spent $280 in total to have a hundred shares of Amazon position, which is pretty awesome guys. So um, I know it's kind of hard to kind of wrap that up in your mind. It, it, it is options guys. Trust me, it took me a while to kind of understand this. But I'm just gonna go. I'm going over a, a quick overview on how I did this. Uh, so I was able to own, uh, have a hundred share position on on Amazon stock with only two hundred and eighty dollars, which is pretty crazy. That's the reason why I love options. So um, going back to it, so so pretty much right now. I mean, I got I bought the thirty four hundred uh, strike price. So we're pretty much right here at uh, thirty three hundred. So I am up in my position. Uh, if you kind of go back to the trade tab, I am up $142 uh, in my position. Um, and again, the stock, the, the, the options don't expire until May 21st. So I pretty much have like, a, let's see, I have pretty much like a month. Yeah, about actually more than a month. I got, let me see how many weeks. Got one, two, three, um, four, five, six weeks into expiration. Uh, so I'm hoping, my goal guys, my goal is uh, for Amazon to, if it breaks above 3,500, I'm pretty much solid. So according to this chart, if you look at these, these numbers right here, now of course expires on May 22nd, 
look at these levels. So again, I only spent $280 on this option. As long as uh, Amazon stock closes above 3,400 and uh, around, yeah, 3,410. Yep, 3,410. By the end of May 22nd, I should, may, should be able to make a $720 profit. Um, so that's pretty much it. And again, it only cost me $280, which is pretty awesome. Pretty amazing. That's why I love, love stock, uh, uh, stock options. So again, this is a vertical call spread guys. Um, and, um, I, I know it sounds a little crazy. sounds a, a little bit, uh, confusing. Uh, so I do welcome you guys to kind of Google a little bit more about vertical call spreads, uh, do some research on how they work. Uh, but Pretty much what you do is, you know, you buy one call option at a, at, a, at a certain strike price and you sell a call option at a higher strike price. And the difference makes your total cost a lot smaller, but allows you to take advantage of a larger position of the stock for a lower cost. So again, it only cost me $280 to have a hundred share position of Amazon stock. And the risk to reward is pretty much three to one, around three to one. So I'm risking $280. That's the maximum amount of money I can lose. The maximum amount of money I can make is $720 as long as the price of the stock of Amazon closes above $3,410 by May 22nd. So that is an option for you guys. So I hope you guys learned something from this video, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe down below to the YouTube channel. Uh, and again, all these uh, videos are for learning entertainment premises only, guys. Uh, don't forget that. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. Have a great day, guys. You'll hear, hear from me soon.